Gardner Minshew. The Cowboys defense is the one that's been running their mouth, particularly Micah Parsons. The Cowboys defense is the one that was better at the beginning of the season and has since been significantly worse since Dak Prescott showed up. The Cowboys defense, they gave up 500 plus yards to a second year quarterback in Trevor Lawrence. The Cowboys defense is the one with the holes in it, particularly at the primary position of cornerback. So while everybody talks about Dak Prescott and this huge matchup, I actually think the defense is under more pressure, but you're smiling. I'm laughing. Oh, laughing. I want, I want to live in a world where that's true. I want to live in a world where we come on Monday and we're like, oh, what did they, did they play more cover two? Or like, what did they do to, <laughs> to mitigate A.J. Brown? It's Dak Prescott. Like, I mean, it's the world we live in. He's the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Do the Cowboys have issues on defense? Of course they do. Is their defense under a lot of pressure to get back to its former self? Of course it is. He's still Dak Prescott. He's the quarterback of the Cowboys. If you don't love him, you're preying on his downfall. If you don't love the Cowboys, you're preying on their downfall. Like a rap song. He's also thrown nine picks, or 11 picks in nine games. 11. 11, 11. 11. I'm sorry. Yep. I don't want to get it wrong for you. Please Shane. don't. He's not playing up to snuff. Regardless of what the reasons are or the number of stats I have that will show you that he's playing very good football, the facts are what they are. You throw picks, you're the quarterback of the Cowboys. We're going to do the A block, the C block, and the <laughs> F block on you. That's just the reality of the situation. I wish it wasn't that way, but that's just the way it is. For those who don't know television, he's saying we'll start the show with Dak. We're gonna 30 minutes later, we're going to talk Dak. <laughs> and 30 minutes after that, we're going to talk Dak. That's Joy right. Taylor, you got to talk Dak. Dak Prescott defense, who's under more pressure? I'm sorry. I just can't. It's really funny to imagine people sitting around praying about the Cowboys. <laughs> they do. What a, what a waste of prayer. <laughs> they do. <laughs> what a waste of time. Uh, you don't have to pray that hard. Yeah. <laughs> say, Dog in the nerves. Say, oh, say, oh, God. Say, <laughs> the Cowboys, look now. They're going to lose the first round anyway. <laughs> I got, I got more points. Those prayers are, yeah, stuff like, prayers are going God's answer. busy, dog. He's busy. Those like, prayers are going on This is another let the Cowboys lose. <laughs> right so the person five the cabinet. Sorry. Anyway, just, <laughs> they really do that, though. They really do that. Um, <laughs> pressure's on Dak Prescott. It's what's fair. I don't know. Life's not fair. It's not. Um, that's what you pray for. It, it, it's, it's not fair, but that's what it is. You're the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. You're the quarterback of any team. Look, we've been talking about Zach Wilson all day for mm -hmm. a Jets team that's not going to make the playoffs. So when you're the guy, that's, where, that's what it comes down to. You get all the praise. You get all the criticism. Sometimes you won't get any of the praise, and you still get the criticism. And that's what it is. Them's the breaks. Don't be a quarterback if that's what you don't want to deal with. Like, that's what it is. I, I, I do think Dak gets a, a criticized probably too much. He's overcome a lot. He's an overachiever. He was a fourth-round draft pick. But that's not where you are anymore. And you've been paid like a franchise quarterback. And you're turning the ball over. I know half of them aren't his fault. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> okay. yeah. But the other ones are. And those still matter. And this is the, the other time, eight. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> the time of the year where you want to be playing your best ball. This is a great opportunity for you to shut everybody up. Go out there and do it. You're going against a great team, but they don't have their best player. So I think the pressure's on Dak. Shady, if Dak Prescott loses to Gardner Minshew and the Philadelphia Eagles, what would that mean to you about Dak Prescott? Oh, I thought you were about to say what it means to me. Oh, okay. Oh, to Dak? Well... What's it mean to you about Dak? You feel me? So, like, what's so, that going to tell so, you? So my thing with Dak is this, right? If you lose to Gardner, because you wasn't going to beat Jalen Hurts. Let's just get that straight, right? You won't beat my MVP. That's out. Want to know, know again? Yeah, that's the old Jets. New Jalen's okay. like the new Superman. He's all built up. You got all these muscles. muscles and stuff. Anyway, if you can't beat him, who can you beat? The last time a spotlight was on you in the playoffs, right? Who he lose to? Jimmy G? Yeah. I, I don't we think Jimmy G's is okay. Mm. L, boom, in Dallas. So I've been critical of Dak, but I have all the right to. Why not? The pressure's all on Dak, right? It don't matter who the quarterback is for any team. If you're a quarterback, right, that's paid as a popular quarterback, not even paid, popular. You get all the credit if you guys win. If you lose, you get all the blame. That's how it works. I get it, it's Dallas, a bigger franchise, et cetera, but that's the name of the game. When you pay a quarterback, they get all the blame, and they get all the credit when they win games. So, yes, I think the defense, first of all, I can't put no pressure on the defense. They've been carrying the whole team since week one, if you want to keep it real. They've been carrying that team. So they had some bad, some bad weeks. That happens as football. All the pressure is on Dak Prescott. Since week 10, he's had nine picks. That's a lot of picks. Wow. That's defense, a lot of picks. Defense falls apart. That's football. Dak's pass bounces into a DB's hands. No, 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 no. You're, you're not what, good. What that's I say, not what that's I, your fault. 
first of all, since week 10, he's had nine picks. Yes. Right? So that's something that's consistently happening over and over again. Where the defense, yo, they, they had a bad week. But they've been tearing stuff up the whole year, right? Bad the week, last... and they still, like, didn't play that badly at the beginning of the yeah, game. Yeah, it wasn't like, that bad. They st- but, but do you hear what I'm saying, though? Like, it's funny how it works, though, right? This is how they defend Dak so much. The defense has been killing stuff all year, scoring touchdowns. Mm-hmm. All them big wins they had on 50 points. That wasn't the offense. Turnovers last Come week. on, that's the defense. And, like, Parsons up for the defense player of the year. They been killing stuff. But soon they have a bad game. Oh, my God, it's, the defense is trash. No, no, my man, it's, they're not. They had a bad game because that happens in football. But the truth has been happening. NFL week, teams. Week over and over again. Ten, since week 10, he's got nine picks. I can't make that up. NFL teams are 44-8 and eight this year when they score uh, 34 points. Just throwing that out there. That's how many points the Cowboys scored. 85%. Right. They're winning 85% of the right. game. Right. Defense gets some of them points, too, though, right? Mm-hmm. See, they don't want to – that's another thing they do. Oh. These Dallas fans, they don't know Cowboys to- didn't score any defensive points last but week. But they're getting you position, too. So when you get turnovers and you get – They got them the ball in the red zone Come. once Look, and then gave them the, the ball The defense like has – But they don't want to talk about that. The defense has been a huge part of the Cowboys' success this year. It hasn't been the same in about, not quite a month, but about three weeks. Really. I mean, they had a phenomenal quarter against the Colts. Other than that, since the Vikings game, it's looked rough. That's what happens when you lose two or three starting cornerbacks. You lose starting linebackers. Or are the expectations of Dak Prescott too high? I think, like, Dave, I don't know if people can can have it both ways. Either we all have to come to terms with the fact that Dak Prescott might not be as good as we want him to be, and let's put him in the exact same box as Kirk Cousins, and let's never be let down when he falls short, or Dak Prescott is a top five, top six, top seven quarterback, which Dave Hellman wants him to be, and many others, Yeah. and he has to deliver as such. Are the expectations too high? That's a good point. It doesn't matter. That's a good point. What do you mean? It does because... He plays for the Cowboys. It's been 26 years since they've won a Super Bowl. Again, so the fans have been waiting for 26 years, and nothing short of that will satisfy them. And then everyone who doesn't like them hates them. This isn't a situation where it's like, oh, you got, like, like let's say the Vikings lose in the divisional round. You'd be like, man, y'all overachieved. You had a plus-two point differential. Kirk Cousins played good football. That's a season you can be proud of. If the Cowboys lose in the divisional round, it's... Y'all are trash. Ha, 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 ha. It's 27 years now. <laughs> Please go away, Cowboys. We hate you. Like, that's the difference. It doesn't matter because the expectation is winning a Super Bowl. The fans demand it, and nothing else will shut the other fan bases up. Well, So why does it matter what expectation we have for them? That is the standard that is, exists when you're the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And when you say that, it's pretty silly that that's the standard. Fair. But, well, yeah. I mean, that, but you can't have it both ways. If you want to be America's Please. team... You, this this goes with it. You can't have but it. That was better what so you said, though. Is it too yeah. high, then? It's too so high, like, then, we yeah. should lower because, the standard. the defense is really, really good, despite what he says. They've been playing good all year, right? And the the the, the, mo- the first thing you want to do with the offense is not go through Dak. What is it? Just run the ball with yeah. him. Right, with Pollard and Zeke. And then Zach, and then Dak is, is last in the offense, right? I'm just saying. We want to run the ball first because they're, they're better than Dak, right? And we're going to throw the ball with Dak. I'm just keeping it real. So when you say it like that, I can agree with you. We need to put Dak in the category with the Kirk Cousins. Look at their numbers. They're very similar. They play a little bit similar, I think. Don't right? Don't Dak probably a little bit better than, than him. But I'm just saying, that's the I, category. I did just think of this, yeah. though, Dave. What does it say that the Cowboys have a pro bowler on offense at every position group except quarterback? I mean, he, I mean, I mean, come on. Running back? I mean, first of all, Dak mm-hmm. missed five games. That, wouldn't, that so, probably wouldn't have mattered. Mm-hmm. Would that have mattered? It's hard to say. If Dak, I mean, if, um, okay, the interceptions are obviously a huge part of it, but, like, if Dak, had, if Dak had five extra games worth of the stats that he has, he would absolutely be in the conversation. So that means you add in the picks, too. Because that, so that's what, part of it. If Dak, uh, what, how, many, how many touchdowns does he have right now? 17? 17 and 11. So 17, if 11 picks. he had, I'm doing math live on the spot. This is bad. 28 and, like, 19. I, like yeah, like that that he could yeah you could absolutely have a, a Pro Bowl resume yes considering Ooh. considering the other quarterback options in the, in the NFC but nobody else, but the Cowboys aren't letting Dak down have we gotten to that place where the Cowboys offense is not letting Dak Prescott down I don't you know said the, you said the offense yeah if I look at that offense I think he's the weakest link on offense a crazy Cor- thought easily the offensive line and the receiver core like ab- easily again I don't know I think I think C D Lance playing better than Dak we'll discuss I said more. core not C D Lance CD. Okay. CD. Okay. We'll discuss more of that later. But coming up, there is chaos oh, going Merry on Christmas. in New York with the Jets. They lost last night with the whole world watching.